Hey, so, got in last night. We saw, turned up four bucks. One really nice shooter, one borderline shooter, one we couldn't identify, and then a, a small forged horn. Also two bears, um, a nice big boar who seems to be following around a smaller sow. Ben is on the butt with a bear tag, so um, we've been talking over with him whether or not he wants to go in and take it. Um, he's starting to lean that way because we haven't been seeing too many bucks. This morning, opening morning, there was three hunters up on the ridge. Two of them were talking super loud, so um, the deer that were over on like that side of the bowl all blew out and like devils were snorting and everything. And then uh, the bucks that we saw on the opposite end, actually the more buck-rich area from the night before, we only saw, could turn up two bucks in there and we could never tell what they were because it was still too early and they got in the timber. So the deer are definitely not cooperating at this point at all but uh, there's at least some around so we have hope of like turning some more up the feed is much drier this year so the deer just seem to be hanging in the shadows where the feed is greener um, they're not going out to like the open kind of buck pastures they were in last year where they were easier to spot and kind of watch feed back into you know the bedding areas right now they're barely leaving their bedding areas by a couple hundred yards it seems like and just feeding right in right really close so um, it's going to make it challenging um, it's, because it's going to be tough to ambush them. You can't set up like an afternoon ambush because they're not going to, you're going to be too close to their bed, you know, if the wind's swirly. And the wind's been every direction this whole time, so we'll see. We'll see what, you know, what it's going to take to get a good opportunity, but, um, yeah, we're happy to be here. It's beautiful. It's going to go move camp down to the bottom and be closer to where we've been seeing the deers and the deer and the bear and uh, see if we can see if we can make it happen okay Blaine recap look at this place right here in the, in the lens recap yeah what, what just happened so we just screwed up um, we decided to move down the mountain and head down lower because that's where we've seen the bucks kind of over this way and we're all walking along and uh we're walking past an area last year where ben had a chance at a buck and yeah, the wind swirled he came in right alongside the wind swirled and missed it but uh i just happened to look up the hill and i just see a big old rack <laughs> They were still right, bedded down. Right there, that tree. Yeah, they were still bedded down, so we, we attempted to back out, but it was too late. And uh, they ran away. There's, there was a nice, you know, probably 19 <coughs> inch wide 3x3. Three three. We're not real positive on if it had more than that, but uh, didn't get a good look. Mm -hmm. And then another medium buck. I'm not sure how many points, and a smaller spindly fork. And I tried to flank up, go up and around and cut them off, but they kind of side hilled and went out in some other timber. So now we're back to the drawing board. <laughs> Almost can't see him anymore. I know. We gotta move. other tree just a little one and then he got past that and he kind of looked straight ahead and I drew and shot did he look at you when you shot or was he just still no, looking for us he'd heard it though and he, he did kind of jump a bit that's awesome dude but it still did the job 
Well, you set the bar kind of high for Ben and I. Yeah. Buck just hung out and we got him on video. It's kind of not the best video. A little shaky, but we got him. He should be down right in here. The arrow didn't penetrate great, but it looked like it just smoked him like right okay. freaking boy over himself. Nice, dude. Good shot. Good shot. Aaron just smoked a forky. Nice wilderness buck, little blacktail here. Beautiful. Put meat in the freezer. Got to head to Oregon on uh, Thursday or Friday. Probably Thursday now if I get out here a little early. Uh, yeah, we're sort of like running out of the water and stuff. So, Lane's refilling. I think I'm gonna like dunk, yeah, my head in there. Hey, don't stir it up before you get your water. Lane. It's like a child. What a trip this ended up being. Three days, two bucks. Uh, we just realized that when we parted ways with Ben, I had the extra propane or gas fuel tank for his stove, and it's still in my backpack. So tonight he is going to be improvising with fire or something to feed himself. Forgot about that. Of course, he's probably just happy to not have any extra weight. <laughs> 